The Air Lord categorically denies the existence of Charlian, especially in the light of the fact that Charlie Banks' contract with the city has been terminated. Onward and upward, land <laughs> view. Ugh. Take that, chicky. But if anything turns up with this records guy, I might have an assignment for you. Listen, do not worry. We are going to find out who killed your mother. I promise. I hope so. I'll talk to you soon. Charlie Banks, I'll get you. And your little dog, too. Ooh. Oh, come on. I, I need your advice. What sounds more authoritative? Mayor Dorian Lord stands up against corruption. Or... Mayor Dorian Lord won't stand for corruption. I didn't realize Lambview's such a hotbed of sleaze. Unfortunately, I entrusted my vision for Lambview to the wrong man. Charlie Banks is not worthy of public trust. He's not worthy of my personal trust. He's not the man I thought he was, not by a long shot. What did he do? He toyed with my heart. Are we talking about the same Charlie Banks here? Charlie Banks and Vicky manipulated me and my emotions. And I'll tell you something, they are gonna learn it is a big mistake to cross Dorian Lord. I can't imagine Vicky and Charlie concocting schemes. It's not really their style. They insinuated their way into my private life and tried to manipulate me into having an affair with, of all people, David Vickers. Shocking. How did they do this exactly? Oh, yeah. You see, they arranged for me to accidentally walk in on Vicky and David in bed making passionate love. Uh, Simulated, of course. <laughs> they thought that that would throw me into a jealous rage. No. Can't imagine why they thought that. Now, do you understand why I feel so betrayed? Look, I I'm just wondering if um, you didn't misinterpret something along the way. Honey, how, I, how could I misinterpret anything? I walked in and saw David and Vicky in bed together and that that is a memory that will be seared in my mind until I go to my grave. Okay. It's just hard to imagine uh, Vicky going that far. That is because you are buying into what that woman has been selling for years. You know, the pearl-wearing, wisdom-spouting matron. That's all public relations. In private, behind closed doors, She's doing down and dirty in the mud. Right. Why didn't I ever see that? You would think Vicky and Charlie have enough problems of their own without creating problems for me. Maybe you and David were their problem. I beg your pardon? You have to admit that you and David radiate your fair share of drama. Maybe Vicky and Charlie thought they were simplifying life for everybody by putting you two back together again. And why would I want to get back together again with David Vickers? Because you're head over heels in love with him. That's why. Unbelievable. Vicky got to you, too. No, 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 Vicky. Vicky does not tell me something that I already know. You have been in love with David since the 90s. Oh, how insensitive of you to simply okay, erase okay, I could and never forget, Mel. I know you loved him, too. But, Dorian, David has had a huge piece of your heart for so long. I disagree. Why? Because you, you're still holding a grudge because he didn't put a stop to your fake lesbian wedding? I mean, isn't that what you wanted? For him to just sort of sweep you off your feet and ride you off into the sunset? <laughs> you're being ridiculous. No, you. You are being ridiculous. And so is David. Both of you are too proud to make the first move. First move? Okay. I'm going to show you a first move. What are you doing? Up, dating my status. 
Air Lord is not now, has never been, and never will be in love with David Vickers. <laughs> that should put an end to the stupid speculation. Once and for all. <laughs> well, congratulations. Now Benjamin Button is not the only one I've seen revert from a complete adult to a total big fat baby. What do you mean? I'm using technology to disseminate new information as efficiently as possible. You're lashing out at David, and you wouldn't bother if you didn't secretly care. Stop telling me how I feel, because you don't know me as well as you think you know me. And uh, we have a comment on my status. Who is Darren Price? Oh, Darren Price. Yes, yes, yes. He's a brilliant young student at Landview High School. Captain of the debate team. Mm, brilliant, you say. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Darren Price says, spelled S-E-Z, David Vickers, no caps, wouldn't take Dorina Lord back if she crawled across broken glass. You're right. This guy's a regular Einstein. You have to call security. Well, what? Uh, what? A cyber crime is being committed. My account has been compromised by some vile hacker. I don't think so. What do you mean? I know this uh, Darren Price. My Darren Price is a fine young man. He, he would never spew such, such, such vile venom. But someone else would. Like who? Wake up and smell the syntax, Dorian. Okay, this has got David Vickers written all over it. Darren Price also says David is too hot for Dorina anyway. H-E-W-T? Hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cassie's even getting in on the action here. Cassie thinks Mother should suck it up and get back with David. Oh, no. Another <laughs> fraud being perpetrated. Oh, oh. please. S stop it. Please. Okay, Please. okay, okay. okay. Stop. All right. I can always change your privacy settings. <sighs> Although, if you do that, you know Todd's gonna take out an editorial tomorrow in the sun, claiming how our, our mayor was a coward and she allowed herself to be chased off a social networking site. Two can play this game. Oh. Or you can just call them and make up. Mm-hmm. What is current nomenclature for gigolo? <sighs> <laughs> you are hopeless. Good luck, Dorina.